Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. We are here at a local flying site here in Sydney uh, because I'm going to show you some more of the BF109. We told you we would show you some in the previous weeks and we're going to show you some uh, updates on that in a different scheme, something to look out for. It is just in here. But before we get to that, we're going to hand over to the guys in New York because they've been flying uh, the B-17. They've been teasing the big FPV uh, video that we're working on on that. And you may even catch a little bit of the BF-109 in that too, along with uh, some updates from James on uh, developments there and also new models. So when you hear back from those guys, you'll come right over to us and we will show you this new variation of the BF-109 that's coming soon from Durafly. So until then, over to James in New York. After this, we could do the quick talking heads while we're out here. <laughs> quick talking heads. Oh. Top stuff. <laughs> I, know, I know the group talking heads. And I know the, the MTV video talking heads. That was literally talking heads. Bouncing on the screen. All right, we're ready. And then, uh, hey Dave, actually, I thought we were going to do more talking here so you can focus on the planes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, we're ready to go. Everybody set up? Yep. Sergeant Stefani reporting in. I'm okay. watching you. Go get him, Tom. There you half are. Throttle, maybe a little higher than half. I'm right behind you. Okay. Now, guys, I'm, I'm, right. I'm flying from the Conix on the green B-17, yeah. just so I didn't interfere on any of Tom's signals while we're doing this, and so I could stay in somewhat of formation. So Alex, you're on the gunners. Yep. I am at your six o'clock. Yep, I'm on the uh, bottom gunner right now. You're shooting me down. I see you, yep. Wow, guys, I have to say that's some of the most fun I've had in RC to date. I've been in it for a little while now, seen a lot of stuff, and that was amazing just to experience it. The B-17 carries all that uh, camera gear really well. Tom rigged it up beautifully with the pan and tilts. Alex was following us around. We got a chance to throw some warbirds up to fly around it. We're going to put together a really cool little video for you. It'll take maybe another week or so to get that done, but uh, we're excited to release it to you because we have so much more footage than what we just teased there. As for what else is going on, as we said at the start of the new year, 2017 is all about new models. We just released uh, that bad boy over there, the Voltagere, finally came out. Anybody who's been watching the weekly updates, we did enough teasing of that and it finally dropped on everybody and people seem to be digging it and they should. It's a really great 3D model and then What's in front of me? Stuart teased this last week over in Australia. Uh, they were flying this around. We haven't flown ours yet, but uh, I'm about to build it. This is the new ME163 coming from Durafly. Uh, just an updated color scheme, a few updated features on there. One of them I noticed right away was the old landing gear and the new landing gear. As you can see, uh, they widened out the wheelbase. So I remember the first one was a little squirrely every time we took it off uh, from the ground, but uh, that should definitely help us out. And if you ever want to add a rocket to it, you can always do that because we had a ton of fun about, it's about two years ago now when we were uh, flying this bad boy around. So I'm going to get this thing built. So not only does this new scheme on the ME163 look really cool, but the beauty is you get a great scale Warbird that was cool in its day. And uh, you also get a great flying wing that's tough and durable and is small enough to just throw in the back of your car and take to the field. This thing is really cool. So yeah, I can't wait to fly this bad boy. Now, before we send it back over to Stuart, one more thing, don't forget, obviously 2017, all about new planes and those EF extras. We didn't get a chance to tease them this week. They're coming very soon and we got a chance to get our hands on some. You saw that and we got a chance to fly those as well. And here's a little bit of Alex chasing those and then we'll throw it over to Stuart. And guys, see you next week. So we're back, thank you very much James. Uh, you saw a little tease of the BF109 there in the Battle of Britain uh, scheme, or a Battle of Britain scheme. What you see here is promised the uh, different scheme. Uh, as you know, many of the Durafly Warbirds come with uh, alternate schemes right out of the box. Uh, 
Emulating uh, the full size in real life, really, because uh, the BF109E4 was used in both, uh, well, many theatres, uh, specifically the Battle of Britain uh, Theatre, uh, or the ETO, and then uh, in North Africa in 1941. This uh, onwards, this is uh, the JG27 scheme. You can see the unit marking there. This is Black 8. Uh, you will get several different decal options with the same paint scheme. Now, I do want to point out a few things. First of all, this is pre-production. That's why that just came off. Um, we haven't yet received the full production samples because why? Well, Chinese New Year, that's why. Also, this is a hand-painted sample, so yes, I know that the blotches are too big down the side. That will be fixed in the production. This should be a tropical filter. That will be fixed in production. And a few other little bits uh, here and there as well. So uh, I'm gonna go fly this now. The grass here is uh, longer than I hoped it would be, but we'll do our best. Get a little bit of uh, teasing flying footage for you. See how this one stands out against the uh, background here. And then in coming weeks, we'll uh, update uh, with more samples and more teasers of the BF109E coming soon from Durafly. So let's get on with a little bit of flying. That's a quarter throttle. This is on 4S by the way guys, and there will of course be a 3 and 4S option. Just like on all previous Durafly warbirds. That's half throttle again. So this is mid flap, she really slows down nicely. Bring it around here again. Still mid stage flap. Alright. And the radio mast there. No experience on that, thank God. The big old mast. Let's bring it around into wind and I'll do a loop. God, I wish I had more room. But it is a park fly, and it's it's park flying. Ready and up. A bit tight that one, to be fair, but she still does it. Half power there again. Half power. Not a bad landing, terrible approach, lots of turbulent winds again. I need that open flying space. So next time when we show these models, I promise you we'll be out of the club and we get you some really nice footage and you really see how the BF109 shines. Still managed to park, but much better in that open space. So until the next weekly update, where we will bring you news hopefully on even more new releases, very different to this Warbird that you see here. Uh, that's about it. And me and the BF109, and James and the guys in New York and all the other models will see you next time.